Hello everyone. I am reaching into my, this is my journal bag. I don't think I've actually done like a show and tell. Maybe that's coming, who knows. I keep certain pen pouches in here, or pouches. I wanna show you guys, cause I just, it just hit me. I'm like, you know, I don't think I've done a bag video, like a pen pouch video. I have a bunch of pen pouches, a bunch of pen cases, and some are in use, others are shelved. And I wanna show you guys how and what is in each case. So if that's something you're interested in, keep watching. Okay, first of all, my very favorite pen pouch is this amazing thing by, honestly, okay, who's it by? Angu, A-N-G-O-O. -O. I got this from Christine, my Anam Cara. If you guys follow my channel for a while, you know we do Art Lockdown every year. And I got this from her. It is amazing. I love this so much. So I've got it expanded. You can also zip it to make it like smaller. Obviously, like I use so many pens and things. I like to keep it expanded. You open it up and you have a zipper pouch here an area for pens and things. Um, in this section, oh, and then let's just flip it over. And then you have a very deep, because I have it expanded, area to hold more stuff. So I am in this every day. I have my Hobonichi felt tip food, food a pen, I think is what it's called. Love it, honestly. I need to look on their website because I want to get one every year. I'm obsessed with that thing. And then in here I have post-it notes. I have page flags. This is also where I keep my Traveler's Company pencil, a pencil sharpener, index cards, an eraser, lead. This is for the Traveler's Company pencil. Um, yeah, so I keep stuff in there. Then in this part, this is where the good stuff is. I have refills for my, basically it's the Jetstream. So the pen that comes with your Hobonichi, which I'm obsessed with 100%, um, evidently uses the same ink cartridges as the, what is this? This is the Uni Ball Jet Stream, Uni Jet Stream, and I ordered this on Tokyo Pen Shop. I love it. I have been replacing the ink cartridges. It also, I got the one, two, three, four, five. So I have the pencil plus four different colors. I should do a whole video about that because I also replace it with other colors that are not the Jet Stream, but we'll talk about that later. In here, this is where I use most of these things in my Hobonichi. I have a pack of tape, a mini stapler, my favorite glue stick, as you guys know, is the Scotch Permanent glue stick, Jane Davenport watercolors. I have an extra eraser and my water brush pen. Now, this water brush pen, let me just tell you guys, Jane Davenport has a set of, I think you can still get them. They're called mermaid. I think they're called mermaid markers, maybe. And they are, this is where this came from. It was the purple. I used the ink and then refilled it with water. And this is my favorite water brush pen. It's amazing. I have my grand dog here and I think he's gonna come say hello. I have a feeling. Okay. Then I have this UB case that I keep all of my mild liners because you can see what color they are. You can line them up. It's the perfect case for that. So I keep those in my UB that came from Target. I also am obsessed with the, what are these called? The name is escaping me. Blue Q, Blue Q bags. I love me some Blue Q bags. I have more that I use for other things, but currently I have three that are in use. 
This is where I keep my mermaid markers, obviously, from Jane Davenport. Let me just show you. Are they called mermaid markers? Jane Davenport. I'm pretty sure these are technically called, she named them mermaid markers, but it's like paint pens. They feel a lot like watercolor, but they're very, very pigmented. And I use them a lot. And then don't throw them away because you can literally refill them as water brush pens. They all, I would open one, but they do get inky show you yeah it's, I love these so much one of my best purchases ever so the mermaid markers are in that pouch then in this blue cube pouch don't you just love how it sounds I keep all of my Tombow markers which I'm also obsessed with as you can see there's a bunch of them. I love using these in the Hobonichi. I love using them on Stology paper, moleskin paper. I do need another one of these. This is their water brush, I guess. Zero, zero. I only have one and I feel like I need another one. My other blue Q bag, I keep Jane Davenport paint over pens. Well, I keep a multitude of things, but most of them are her paint pens. So you got all of these are the Jane Davenport paint pens, paint over pens. And then I have randomly, I need that. That's an Energel Brown. That's my favorite color out of the Energel. So I'm gonna keep that out. This has not even been open, the Posca pen. And then random pens. I don't know why those are in there. This is supposed to be my paint pen pouch okay then again christine my anamkara got me this i'm not bossy i'm the teacher and this is where i keep my homeschool stuff these are all so this is an erasable big pen no way is this erasable yes it is not my favorite my actual pen is in use my favorite is the biz the pilot erasable biz two pen or something like that. Here we go. The friction, the pilot friction biz two. And I keep, my son uses these erasable pens. So I keep all of the erasable ink cartridges in here. Post-it notes going to different bags. So I need to keep that out. I'm glad I'm doing this because I'm actually cleaning out stuff. Yeah, this right here. That's an Energel pencil. <laughs> I thought it was the pilot. There we go. See, I'm so glad I'm doing this. So all of my erasable pens and pen cartridges for the erasable pens go in here. Then we have my beloved utility pouches from Delphonics. Obviously I'm obsessed with mustard yellow. This one holds all of the post-its. So I'm gonna put these in here. I don't know, it's not spring, but I'm in like a whole cleaning all the things lately it seems, cause the last video I did was all about my witchy mystic purse. So this, in this pouch, I carry all of my post-it notes. And actually, I am gonna pull out more. I use them quite frequently. Let's, let's go ahead and do that. Here's more in my laptop bag, flags, all of those need to be moved. So we're gonna put all those in here. I, I prefer to be organized and I try to be, I'm not always, but there you go. All right, and then my large Delphonics, this actually holds all of the journaling covers or cases that's, that are not currently in use. So I'll just give you a glance. Currently, I have my um, Traveler's Notebook, Traveler's Company Notebook that's not currently being used. I have, I'm obsessed with this. This is the A6 
um, documented journey folio. Currently, because I'm doing my study book, it kind of took place of my book of shadows slash book of secrets, book of spells, um, spiritual book. So I'm not currently using that, but I do have a plan for that coming soon. And then the only Sheik Sparrow that I actually kept, because you guys know I got rid of all my Sheik Sparrows, um, was this one that I purchased secondhand from a woman who altered it. She actually did yellow, I don't know if you can see, but a mustard yellow thread. And my son, because it was secondhand and because it had been altered, my son actually engraved it for me. He used a soldering iron and did an infinity symbol and then I splattered coffee stained drips and things and I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with this little thing. So this is the only Sheik Sparrow that I decided to keep because it had significance to me. Okay, next, which isn't really a pouch. These bags are what I um, store and archive my journals in. I have a bunch of them. Every journal from one year fits in one. They expand a lot bigger than it looks here. They, I get them on Amazon, it's Tink Sparkle. Um, but in here, I keep all of the extra bags that are not currently in use. So we'll pull these out. I got this from Christine. The mountains are calling and I must go. Currently, I'm not using that. I have three. <laughs> these used to be my favorite pen pouches because they would fit over a composition notebook. And so I'd throw all my pens in there for writing in my comp books, hold my comp book closed, obsessed, um, but I'm not currently using any composition notebooks. So I'm not using this. This was my first one and you can tell cause it's got like an ink stain, but I love it. Then I think both of these, this one is from the Happy Planner. And this one is Erin Condren. Don't like the feel of this. I definitely prefer the feel of the canvas bags. As you, I mean, that's a canvas bag too, over this plasticky. So this is Erin Condren, same concept. Throw it over a notebook, zip. Throw it over a notebook, zip. Then we have, and I love this thing so much, except for one problem. I spent a bunch of money on this. This I got from Tokyo Pen Shop. This is the leather, I can't remember the name of the company, but it was not a cheap bag. And it doesn't even say the name of the company. But when I, I mean, look at how pretty. The problem is when I put my hands in, the zipper like kind of like grabs my hand. Sorry about the dogs, they're playing. And I don't like it. As a highly sensitive person, I just can't use it for that, but I can't get rid of it because it is really nice leather. It's just not, I've tried doing washi. I've tried, I just, I just can't. So we'll have to see what happens to that. Anyhow, before the dogs go crazy, that is it. Those are all my pen cases, pen pouches, what's in them, which ones are being used, which ones are not. Until next time, I apologize for the dogs. Talk to you later.